Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into the story of Gucci, one of the most iconic and recognizable luxury brands in the world. While Gucci is known for its high-end fashion and accessories, there is a much darker side to the brand's history that is not as well known. In this video, we will explore the dark truth about Gucci, including the murder, greed, and corruption that plagued the company for years. The Rise of Gucci The story of Gucci begins in 1921 in Florence, Italy, when Guccio Gucci opened a small leather goods shop. Guccio was fascinated by the luxurious luggage he had seen while working at the Savoy Hotel in London and decided to create his own line of luggage, bags, and accessories. His designs quickly gained popularity among wealthy clients, and by the 1950s, Gucci had become an international brand with stores in Milan, Rome, and New York. Guccio's sons, Aldo, Vasco, and Rodolfo joined the company in the 1950s and helped expand the brand's offerings to include clothing, shoes, and jewelry. The brand's iconic logo, featuring two interlocking Gs, was also created during this time. Under the leadership of Aldo, Gucci became a global powerhouse with stores in major cities around the world and a reputation for luxury and style. However, tensions between the Gucci family members began to rise and the company faced financial difficulties in the 1980s and 1990s. It wasn't until the arrival of creative director Tom Ford in 1994 that Gucci experienced a resurgence. Ford's innovative designs and provocative advertising campaigns reinvigorated the brand and made it one of the most sought-after luxury labels in the world. The Murder of Maurizio Gucci The murder of Maurizio Gucci, the former head of the Gucci fashion house, is a shocking and tragic event that has become a part of the brand's history. Maurizio Gucci was the grandson of Guccio Gucci and had taken control of the company in the early 1980s. He was responsible for bringing in new talent and expanding the brand's offerings to include perfume, home decor, and more. However, in the late 1980s, tensions within the Gucci family began to rise. Maurizio's cousin, Paolo, was fired from the company and began to plot revenge against his cousin. He hired a hitman, and on March 27, 1995, Maurizio Gucci was gunned down outside his office in Milan. The murder sent shockwaves through the fashion world and led to a high-profile trial that captivated the public. Paolo Gucci was eventually convicted of ordering the hit and sentenced to 29 years in prison while the hitman received a life sentence. The murder of Maurizio Gucci was a dark chapter in the history of the brand, but it also highlighted the power struggles and family tensions that can arise in the world of fashion and luxury. It remains a cautionary tale of the dangers that can come with extreme wealth and success. Gucci's Troubled Past Gucci's troubled past is rooted in the company's early history and its connection to the Italian fascist regime. Guccio Gucci, the founder of the brand, was a supporter of Benito Mussolini's fascist party and even served as a member of the Black Shirts, a paramilitary organization that supported the regime. This connection to fascism tarnished the brand's reputation in the post-World War II era and led to a decline in sales. In the 1970s, Gucci was also plagued by internal power struggles and family feuds, which led to a decline in quality and an overproduction of products. The brand became associated with cheap knockoffs and lost its status as a luxury fashion house. It wasn't until the 1990s that Gucci began to regain its reputation as a top fashion brand under the leadership of Tom Ford. Ford revamped the brand's image with daring and provocative designs that appealed to a younger and more diverse audience. However, the brand has also faced controversies in recent years, including accusations of cultural appropriation and racism. In 2019, Gucci was forced to pull a sweater from its collection that resembled blackface, which sparked widespread backlash and calls for boycotts. Despite these challenges, Gucci remains one of the most iconic and recognizable fashion brands in the world. Its troubled past serves as a reminder of the importance of ethical and responsible business practices in the fashion industry. The Rebirth of Gucci after facing significant challenges in the 1980s and 1990s, Gucci underwent a rebirth in the late 1990s and early 2000s under the leadership of CEO Domenico De Sol and creative director Tom Ford. De Sol recognized that the brand had lost its identity and needed to be repositioned as a luxury fashion house. 
He began by streamlining the company's operations and cutting back on the production of low-quality products. He also invested in marketing and advertising campaigns to help rebrand the company. At the same time, Ford was creating daring and provocative designs that were both edgy and sophisticated. His designs for Gucci were a huge success and helped to revive the brand's image as a luxury fashion house. Together, Dassault and Ford transformed Gucci into a global brand that was synonymous with luxury and style. They expanded the company's product line to include everything from clothing and accessories to fragrances and home goods. They also opened new flagship stores in key fashion capitals around the world. Gucci's success continued under the leadership of creative directors such as Frida Giannini and Alessandro Michel, who brought their own unique visions to the brand. Today, Gucci is one of the most successful luxury fashion houses in the world, with a loyal following of customers who appreciate the brand's rich history and commitment to quality and innovation. In addition to Dassault and Ford's efforts, the rebirth of Gucci was also aided by several key business decisions. For example, the company was acquired by luxury goods conglomerate Pinault Printemps Redoubt in 1999, which provided Gucci with the financial resources it needed to invest in its operations and expand its product line. Under Kering's ownership, Gucci also focused on expanding its presence in emerging markets such as China, where demand for luxury goods was rapidly increasing. The company opened new stores in cities such as Beijing and Shanghai and also began investing in e-commerce to reach customers in other parts of the world. Gucci's success also helped to inspire a renewed interest in Italian luxury fashion. The brand's innovative designs and bold marketing campaigns challenged the traditional image of Italian fashion as being conservative and traditional and helped to establish a new generation of Italian designers who were more experimental and daring. However, the brand has also faced some controversies in recent years. In 2019, Gucci was criticized for releasing a sweater that resembled blackface, which the company apologized for and withdrew from the market. The incident sparked a conversation about racism and cultural sensitivity in the fashion industry. Despite these challenges, Gucci's legacy as a leading luxury fashion house remains intact, and the brand continues to innovate and push boundaries in the world of fashion and design. Another interesting fact about Gucci is that the company has a strong commitment to sustainability and environmental responsibility. In recent years, the brand has taken steps to reduce its carbon footprint and minimize its impact on the environment, including implementing sustainable sourcing practices and investing in renewable energy sources. Gucci has also launched a number of initiatives to support social causes, such as the Chime for Change campaign, which aims to promote gender equality and empower women and girls around the world. The company has donated millions of dollars to organizations such as UNICEF and the Malala Fund to support education and healthcare initiatives for women and children. These efforts demonstrate that Gucci is not just a successful fashion brand, but also a socially responsible company that is committed to making a positive impact on the world. Gucci's rebirth is the brand's embrace of digital technology and social media. In recent years, Gucci has used social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok to connect with younger audiences and promote its products in new and innovative ways. Under the leadership of CEO Marco Bazzari and creative director Alessandro Michel, the brand has also experimented with new digital technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality to enhance the shopping experience for customers. These efforts have helped to cement Gucci's position as a leading innovator in the fashion industry and have contributed to the brand's ongoing success and relevance. Conclusion So, there you have it, the dark truth about Gucci. While the brand has certainly had its share of troubles over the years, it remains one of the most iconic and influential fashion brands in the world. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it has provided you with a deeper understanding of the history and legacy of Gucci. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future.